That's the most foul, cruel, and bad tempered rodent you ever set eyes on. He's got huge, sharp. He can leap about. Look at the bones! Hello, YouTube, and welcome to the BMW F700 GS. Wasn't expecting to be test riding this today. Uh, I'll explain a little bit more in the video about that one. Um, but for now, I'm going to do the walk around part. So, uh, yeah, not a bad looking bike, really. I'm, uh, I wasn't too sure about the colour when I first uh, saw it um, on the forecourt, but um, I'm slowly warming up to the, uh, I can't remember the proper name for that orange colour is. Um, but yeah, it's quite nice looking. So yeah, had a good uh, bit of a good test ride on this so far. Really comfortable for me. Plenty powerful enough. Looks and feels pretty well built. Twin front discs with Brembo calipers and Brembo's on the rear as well. Um, yeah, I don't really know too much about it really because uh, yeah, like I said, I wasn't expecting uh, to test ride it so I didn't really do any research. So I've got no idea on uh, the performance figures and things like that. I'll put them up, the, up on the screen at some point. It's got a nice dash layout there. Um, it, it's a nice change actually because I've just been on the V-Strom. Um, which has a, obviously a digital speedo and stuff. It's uh, it's nice with uh, having something with a, a good old fashioned analog speedo um, on there. So yeah, it's uh, it looks pretty nice on there. Uh, switching it on. Information area there is uh, nice and useful, or nice and easy to read. Clock, uh, odometer, fuel gauge, gear indicator, uh, temperature gauge. And also on this, you've got um, ABS. I believe that this is all the standard ABS um, heated grips with I think it's three settings or two, uh, like high and low, high, medium, and low. Uh, the information button, which goes through temperature, which isn't working for some reason. Uh, temperature, av I think that's average speed. I think. Uh, Fuel, uh, average miles to the gallon, current miles to the ga gallon, yeah. um, fuel range, I think. I think that's how much we've got left. Three miles, apparently. <laughs> the fuel light has come on, so, uh, yeah, as long as we can make it back up the road in time, that's good. Um, yeah, there we go. And also with this, you've got uh, electronically adjustable suspension, which there is three modes. You've got comfort mode, which I've just had it in, which is nice and comfortable. Normal, obviously, and sport. Uh, sport does stiffen it up quite a lot, and um, apparently it does raise raise it up a bit. Um, I, I couldn't feel that happen when I turned it on, um, but I could feel the firmness of it once it was engaged. So there we go. Let's uh, let's roll the ride footage. Uh, I wasn't expecting to be riding this, to be honest. Uh, I've just come from uh, Hazelmere on the. V-Strom 650 test ride, uh, my second test ride on that bike. Um, I was going to take the 1000 out, but they were quite busy and stuff, so um, I opted to uh, come back another time for that. So on the way over to Lumi's, I thought I'll pop into Barnstormer and, uh, and have a look round. And uh, it wasn't long before I was approached by a salesman who says, are you all right there? Um, so I was like, oh, I explained my situation. Yeah, just look in. I'll be in the market for a new bike soon. Just wondering what uh, what sort of things you've got. Uh, said I'll, I'm j just just done the V-Strom and quite liking the adventure bike type of thing. But obviously, being quite short, I'm a bit limited to what I can have. So he said, "Okay, well, let's have a look at him." And uh, he said, "I think the uh, F700 might be a good one, certainly to to have a go on first. So um, he says, if you've got your license with you, you can take it out now." So I was like, "Okay then." And here we are. It is nice and comfortable. He put the low seat on for me as well, and uh, I've got no trouble, no trouble touching the floor. So happy days there. MT10, I believe. Nicely done.
Mmm, nice. Handles nicely. Okay, we're in sports mode now. It's, uh, oh yeah, yeah, it feels a little bit firmer. Uh, yep, that's firmer. <laughs> I suddenly just feel all the bumps in this road now. Oh yeah, loving that. Well, it seems to be quite a nice smooth ride until you put it in sports mode. Then it's a bit bumpy on the, some of the rougher roads, but uh, yeah, electronically adjustable suspension. That's a first for me. It's quite nice being able to just change the feel slightly. You can't really feel it when it changes, uh, but when you're going along and you, yeah, you hit some bumps, then you notice them a bit more. But the actual change part, uh, you don't feel. Well, I don't feel it anyway. It's a very comfortable riding position, nice and upright. Pegs feel quite low down, so my legs aren't tucked up or anything silly. I don't know what the figures are, but it seems like it's got plenty of torque, plenty of power. I wouldn't say it's like massively torquey, uh, but yeah, there's plenty of it. Oh yeah, we like that. We like that. Now the brakes, uh, you pull the front lever and it feels like nothing's happening. Um, I mean, it's all ABS and everything, uh, but they do work quite well. Um, but yeah, they're very... Uh, I'm trying to think what the word is. Hey, she sounds all right as well. <laughs> all right, we need to go all the way around this roundabout. Yeah, the brakes there, yeah, I'm not sure how to uh, describe it. They don't feel like they're doing anything, but they are. It'll take some getting used to. I remember having the same same sort of feeling in, in cars, driving cars as well, going from like my Metro that I learned to drive in compared to um, the instructor's Peugeot, which had power-assisted brakes and stuff. It was completely different. It's got a bit of a, a nice growl, a bit of an undertone there, a bit growly. The bike's a little bit high on the clutch for my liking, but uh, it's copable. On the indicators, it's uh, it almost, there's not very much movement in the uh, in the button. Like you slide it, it doesn't feel like you've really clicked them on, but you have. It's just, okay, again, just different, um, different controls to get used to. Now, the seat feels quite firm, but I'm not feeling any discomfort yet, which is a good sign. This is the lower seat as well, as I mentioned earlier, and it's got a bit of a, it's got a cutout around where your arse sits, so it sort of, uh, it cups your arse nicely. Stops you from sliding back a bit too much. Not sure that might I'm not sure who that was I didn't really get a look at the bike uh, for a, a glance it looked like spicy <laughs> and uh, not sure who else so let's summarize then I quite like this um, I could certainly see myself on it it's uh, very practical uh, and it's got a good amount of uh, power and uh, yeah certainly very capable and plenty of fun as well. It is, it's good fun. It goes around the corners really nicely. It feels quite solid. 
yeah. I, I could probably have one of these. I haven't seen the price tag actually. <laughs> Might want to look at that first before committing. <laughs> yeah, plenty of room for extras such as panniers. I'll have to see if there's a, a bit of different screen you can put on. I think I would like a, a taller screen. A bit more like the, uh, the R1200 GS. Uh, but yeah, overall, I'm, I'm very impressed with this. I do like it. Uh, I will have to try the XR if I can, the S1000XR. That might be for, uh, for another day. But I finally got myself up to Barnstormers to try something. That, that, was, uh, that was the main thing. Right, shall we give it back or shall we run away? Run away! Run away! Run away! Run away! No, we best give it back. I was just about to say, it's nice and smooth and controllable at low speeds, then I stored it like a noob. Oh, looks like we're going to have to do this uh, Toyota. I did an overtake! <laughs>